everybody. Um, first thing, apologies for being lazy today. I don't have my contacts in. I don't have makeup on. It's hot and gross outside and on top of that we've got poor air quality so you know it just doesn't feel like life is worth getting dressed up for anymore sometimes. Not that you guys don't deserve my best but um, some days this is the best I can do. Anyway, I just thought um, I would go ahead and I apologize for the glare on my glasses too, but um, <laughs> I thought I would maybe just talk a little bit about what I've been reading, what I've been watching. Um, uh, a little bit of it is from like the previous video, um, some discussion of like what had been going on there. So I'm going to start with Classroom of the Elite. Um, again, sorry for the glare. Um, I'm reading the light novels, so I've I watched the anime um, a few years ago, and then my oldest son got curious about it, so we we rewatched it together. Well, it was his first time. I rewatched it with him, and at the same time, I I realized I wanted to maybe read the light novels um, that they're kind of based off of. So these are um, they have the first five available in English um, translation from Seven Seas and the translations are pretty decent. Um, well before I get into that though let's talk about the story in case you didn't you don't know it or you didn't hear I think I talked about it a little bit in my last video but basically it's about um, this special high school in Tokyo where the students um, it, it's very hard to get into. They're specially selected and the students are put in one of four classes and the four classes kind of have to battle it out for supremacy um, by earning points and you know the class with the most points is class A and so the main uh, character in this series is a boy named Ayano Koshi and he um, he's kind of lazy. He he basically wants to stay... <laughs> he wants to be wallpaper. He just wants to kind of observe and not get involved and not, you know. And <clears throat> of course it's impossible for him to do that uh, under the circumstances. So anyway, um, and it's about him and his like relationship, not like a romantic relationship, but his relationship with this girl, Rakita, who sits next to him, um, and she's antisocial, but together they keep having to solve the class's problems because otherwise they're never gonna, like, advance. Um, she really wants to be in class A, and I know she really doesn't care, but, um, he's kind of strong-armed and, uh, helping with that goal. So anyway, the anime series, um, I'm on light novel number three here and apparently like light novels one through three pretty much encapsulate what's covered in the anime and so then when I read four, four and a half and five, um, I will have gone beyond what I already know. I'm, I'm, I read the first two, I mean they're long, they're like 400 pages long each, but um, I read them really quickly. Like I said, the translations are decent. I think it helps that I know enough about Japanese to kind of get it. Like I don't know if somebody who read this without any knowledge of, I'm, it's not like you need to know Japanese to read it, but like maybe I understand the translation in a different way because I have a under fundamental understanding of Japanese language and why the characters are talking the way they talk is all I'm gonna say but um <clears throat> and I mean there are a few like typo error about type that my video froze for some reason and I wasn't sure if like the recording was going correctly so I decided to do <laughs> a little bit of a split there, but um, anyway, the translation is decent. 
I'm I'm I read the first two really quickly. I'm struggling with the third one because it's a plot line that I didn't really enjoy in the anime, and I'm not really enjoying here. It's like this whole it's a class camping trip plot that I don't know why, but just doesn't do anything for me. Um, maybe because I don't like camping. I don't know. Um, I think what's interesting in the series is that very slowly you're kind of peeling back layers on Ayana Koshi and uh, Koji, sorry, and um, and getting like kind of hints of his background and his personality. The anime gives you more like explicit flashbacks, but like he's this, uh, he's a little bit sinister and it's a, it's very intriguing. Um, anyway, I do recommend it. I recommend the books. I recommend the anime. Um, and then the other anime we picked up and started watching was um, Gekken Shoujo Nozaki-kun, uh, or I think it's the English title is Monthly Shoujo, like monthly, I, I don't, Gekken means monthly. <laughs> I'm like, shoujo girl? Monthly girls? He writes for a... Nozaki Kun is a high schooler who writes for a monthly girls, like, manga uh, magazine. And so he writes this manga, um, but he's actually kind of clueless about girls in the real world or, <clears throat> you know, relationships. He's just kind of able to fake it when he's writing these manga, I guess. And... The general story is of how there's this girl named Sakura um, who has a crush on him and he's oblivious to that but he ropes her into helping him with his manga. She does like what's called the beta. She fills in all the black um, ink spaces and basically there's this small collection of high schoolers who are helping um, Nozaki-kun uh, with his manga in various ways. One of them draws the backgrounds and one of them does, you know, effects and one of them's really good at the screen tones and stuff like that. So it's it's fun because it's just this collection of fun uh, characters and it's really cute. It's I had not watched something that made me laugh out loud so much in a long time. So um, it's just so lighthearted and so just kind of dumb and cute that if you're looking for something like that, I absolutely recommend it. It's based, as I understand it, it's based on a comic strip in Japan that you can buy, um, you know, collections of now in English. Um, the anime is from 2014, but Netflix just recently kind of imported it over. And now I think there are people saying, wait, we want another season because there's only 12 episodes. Um, same with Classroom of the Elite. There's only 12 I think 12 or 13 but like you know they have short seasons um some of the time there so um so I would definitely recommend that just as something lighthearted and and cute and it's got like a really catchy little theme song that gets stuck in your head for days on end but you don't mind because it's it's a fun song um so that and now I want to read the comic strips because apparently there are a bunch of characters I mean like on Pinterest um, there are a bunch of characters that you don't meet in the anime that are in the the comic strip like Nozaki Kun's younger brother and you know so I'm like very curious about all that um, so that's on my list the black butler manga is still on my list um, as well haven't picked that up yet will hopefully be able to read that soon. I watched series one, two, and Book of Circus. We um, we watched part of Book of Murderers, but it was the English dub and I just can't. So um, waiting till we can watch the DVDs. I got my daughter the DVDs for her birthday. Um, hopefully she doesn't watch this, but um, <laughs> so uh, we'll finish it out once uh, her birthday happens next month. Um, anyway, <laughs> oops, cat's out of the bag. I think she already knows anyway, but um, <laughs> she, it's hard to hide things from her. She's very uh, snoopy. Not, uh, we love her. Evie, if you're watching, we love you. Um, 
I was the same. I was the same. I would wait till my parents were out of the house and I would like sneak around and try and find stuff. I, I don't know what I thought I was going to find. Like, but you know, I don't know, something, something I didn't know we had or something I didn't know existed or, you know, maybe my parents were hiding presents from me year, year round. I don't know. Um, so anyway, <laughs> she's going to be mad at me now. Um, so yeah, so yeah, Black Butler is still something really enjoyed, uh, want to read, want to finish watching. Um, so yeah, this is kind of my little, this is like an anime, uh, manga video. Um, I have Susanna, Suzanne, Susanna Clark's new one queued up on my Kindle. I need to start reading that. Um, I'm going to be reading The Mirror and the Light, the last of the Hilary Mantel books um, in the Thomas Cromwell series, um, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I mean my kids are starting school next week, they're not going to school, it's school from home, but you know it's still going to be kind of hectic, they've got, there are three different schools, so there's three different schedules and a lot of stuff going on, and we're all trying to figure out this new... Um, database software, you know, whatever that the, the school district has rolled out. So, uh, what my chances to read may be few and far between. It, it's hard to tell yet um, whether or not I will be able to read, um, like on a regular basis <laughs> or, or how often I'll be able to escape with a book, especially since I am still working on um, a, a manuscript of my own. So, that's it. That covers it for this week. And I hope that you're safe where you are. And, you know, I hope, I mean, if you're near us, you're dealing with wildfire smoke and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Um, uh, other than that, uh, you know, um, but yeah, just what, what did they used to say on Hill Street Blues? Stay safe out there. Be careful out there. I can't remember what he said. My parents watched that show. They loved that show. We had to watch an episode, like, in film school when we were doing, like, TV. Uh, sorry. Totally, like, just my fly is flying off. That's what my mom used to say, that my fly would land on the wall, and it would fly, like, around and land somewhere else, and only, uh, only the fly knows why it does that. That's me. That's my brain. That's how I work. I connect random things, and that's the Asperger brain, I guess. But, um, anyway, I will stop babbling, and take care. <laughs>